Hello everyone! So today it's finally the day where I show you how you can have a shower in the Kangoo. This is one of the questions that I get asked more often so I thought I would make a video on it. So what I use to have a shower is a 30 litre tank which now is just half full but it should be enough for a shower and a 12V portable shower. This um, plugs in on the Seeger socket of your car and it has a little top that you put inside your tank and a shower head. So today, um, in the middle of nowhere, there's not gonna be anybody really passing by, I don't think anyway, but when I am in places where I think people might see me or I want some privacy, I have some curtains that I'm gonna show you now. So those are the shower curtains that I use to have some privacy on the back. They look massive, but really they're just, they go very, very tiny when you fold them. And those are just shower curtains from Ikea. Uh, so they have um, Velcro on the sides so that I can attach to the carpet on the back. And I've also made some holes on the bottom so that I can put some, um, how do you call those? The things that you put on the tent to keep it on the soil. But yeah, I'm gonna show you how I fit them. So this is it. This is my nice and private little shower. I left a little aperture here so you can see me, but you can... Usually what I do is that I put uh, some pegs here to keep it close so people can see inside. So today is not very windy, but usually in Scotland it's very windy. So uh, what I do is that I put those things on the soil so that the curtain is nice and attached and it won't move. Because the last thing you want is that a blow of wind comes by and you're taking a shower and then everybody can see everything, right? Once the, the curtains are set up, what I do is that I heat up some water if it's cold. I honestly don't often take warm showers just because I usually bathe in rivers and lakes because this, although it takes five minutes, it's still like you need to find the things and da da da. So I guess this is good for like when you really feel like you need a proper uh, warm shower or maybe it's really cold outside. So the water is warming up and of course you always want to put a lid on it to save on some gas and I'd say there's about a litre and a half, two litres, which should make my tank water lukewarm. While the water warms up, I prepare the uh, shower head, so I just plugged it in on the Seeger socket of the car and then you'll want to put the pump inside whichever water container you are using. Oh. So this shower head, um, which I link on the description box somewhere, uh, also comes with two holders for the shower head. So you can put this on uh, glass, uh, or plastic, whatever, and this, I guess, is for branches. So you can just whoop, use it as a holder. The water is hot, so we're ready to pour it in on our tank and actually it's probably better if you put the hot water first and then the pump because you don't want to ruin the, the rubber of the pump. And that is it, you're ready to shower. Well, that was a good shower with a nice view as well. So for this shower, I think I've used around uh, 10 liters. Um, when you live in a van, you learn how to shower very, very fast. But yeah, this is my way to keep clean, especially in summer months or where it's warm. Uh, in winter months, of course you could still do it, but there are other ways, uh, warmer ways to have a shower. And I think I will have, uh, I will make another video on that. But yeah, I hope that this gave you uh, some ideas if you were wondering how you could stay clean uh, while traveling. 
and I'll see you in the next time. Bye. Sorry guys, I wasn't on this video because I don't particularly like showering. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.